so, and if it is right and proper and within our power, we shall grant it. It has long been noted that Don Simon Morcar has been of great and invaluable service to this kingdom and to the society at large. He has served as our very first kingdom rapier marshal, and he has written the very rules upon which we play and still play today. He is now serving as a second term as Kingdom Rapier Marshal. He has served to advise the Crown over this many years, and in fact has served as an essential Kingdom Editor for all many of our handbooks, guidebooks, including the Armored Marshal Handbook. He has provided advice to society on many committees, including affecting many martial activities, and in fact, the rules of society. He has been of invaluable service across many activities, including autocratic events, including providing wording. In fact, he is a, you might consider him the wordsmith, rulemaker, lawmaker, award writer to the Mid-Realm, to North Shield, and in fact, to society. He is the very word of our kingdom. He is service to the marshalate, service to martial activities, above and beyond his place as a white scarf, above and beyond his skill with a rapier. He is, in fact, service embodied. This is, in fact, his only service award in our kingdom. As you can see, the very heavens have cried out for remedy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for now to remedy. It appears that you're before us. You have sat the children, you have received the wisdom of the kingdom. Please call forth the order. Masters and mistresses of the pelican, present yourselves before their majesty. My noble lords and ladies, it is your, is it your opinion that Simon is worthy of elevation into the order of the Pelican? Aye! Outstanding. Is there a royal peer to attest to his nobility? I will. I am Asa Gill's daughter. Twice I served as Queen of Northfield. During particularly challenging situations we encountered, we would, and I'm serious, ask ourselves, what would more car do? <laughs> <laughs> and it was never, these were always situations when it was, we realized it was not appropriate to smite with the thunderous power of the crown. The answer, as we learned from Simon, was to pause and to breathe and to see the other person, understand where they came from and meet them and make a connection and find the right answer. He taught us so much about courtesy and grace. We still ask ourselves, what would Morcar do? Your Majesties, I heartily recommend him to you. Is there a member of the chivalry to attest to Simon's chivalry? Uh, this could take a while. Why, yes, Your Majesty, there are. <laughs> Simon asked us both to speak, and, and I get the joy of going first because following him is difficult. <laughs> so, and I think that 
for a definition or a talk about where Simon fits into the chivalry, can only really be on one way. He is generous with his abilities and his time beyond what most people do. He has shielded the weak in our kingdom and other kingdoms quite mightily. He has been very obedient to the liege lords and ladies of his kingdom over many, many reigns, both as a care and No one can doubt him if you have faced him that he is foremost in battle. He shows courteous more often than I do, I wish I could emulate it better than his image. And he is absolutely a champion of the right. He lives my oath as well or better than I do, and I try to do a better job of emulating it because of him. Thank you. I would like to thank Morcar for this opportunity to come and I to speak as a couple of times. There are many fine attributes that make one chivalrous for a knight. The one that I'm going to talk about today is prowess. When you start working towards chivalry, you make a cup of prowess and you fill it full of things to build your case and make you into a knight. Or, in layman's term, you become tall enough to ride that ride. More car has pulled that off nicely. <laughs> no one who has ever faced more car on the rapier field can doubt his prowess there. He is one of the men who trained me when I first started in the SCA many, many moons ago. And recently, um, and many, many, many of you may or may not know, Morcar took the heavy field to uh, fight for the hand of his lady in our illustrious um, Royals um, Crown Tournament. And I had the honor of standing there with him and watch him definitely um, identify himself as one of the giants on that page. There might be a theme. <laughs> However, when I speak prowess, I'm not going to talk about his prowess on our field. It is said that the pen is mightier than the sword, and sometimes this is the case. For at that tournament, I was faced with having to follow behind this man after the beautiful speech he gave. And the best I could come with was what he said times two. <laughs> <laughs> on the day that um, it was announced that they were going. They were looking and opening the mod, um, opening up, looking at creating the mod. Um, Petronell and I had the chance. We were sitting on the, the stellar thrones. Petronell was going to be on the council, and I had some very preconceived idea about how the mod should be and how it should work. Morcar and Markley invited us over. And they spent time, and he used his words to make me understand what the mod should be and how wrong I was in those preconceived notions. And that's part of the reason we have the wonderful peerage we have now. Um, I cannot recommend this man any higher. Thank you. Master or mistress of the Laurel, who can attest to Simon's talents? Yes, Your Majesty. I am Niccolo Falconetto, 16th Laurel of Kingdom of Dorsio. I have had the honor of knowing Master Simon Morfire for a long time as my mentor, my don, and my friend. It was he who brought me into the study of historic rapier. We have spent much time looking over manuals together and both pursuing our arts. But he then took his abilities of research and study and then turned it out to support the kingdom in our community. Is there a member of the populace who wishes to speak? Hi. Simon's qualities has appeared. Hi, all in front of the other end, I would wish to speak. When Markar asked me to speak for him, he told me, and I quote, all in as long as you let everyone know I am not a jerk, that is all you have to say. <laughs> so now that we've established he is indeed not a jerk, let's focus on Morcar's most important and quite obvious aspect. He is ridiculously tall. 
Yes, he can tell us what the weather is like up there. Yes, he can lunge and kill you from last week with a dagger. But I would like to speak of how he is tall in other ways. He is tall in his drive to serve within the SEA. He has tirelessly worked and honed the Kingdom Rapier Handbook more than once as Kingdom Rapier Marshal, a task that is neither glorious nor all that much fun. But he willingly stepped up to take on that task, I repeat, more than once. He is tall in his teaching. He will gladly give up his knowledge and perspective on the game of Rapier to any and all, eagerly telling anyone who will listen to a new insight on a period master or a new training drill that he found to work for him and might work for others. He is tall in his principles. He has had a hand in shaping the rules of how we, we as rapier fighters play the game in North Shield. And as his emergency deputy, I have seen him speak with candor about a rule or process that he does not necessarily agree with personally, but he has still put in the time, effort, and work to make everything run smoothly because it was in the best interest of the kingdom as a whole. For this and many other reasons, I speak as a member of the populace and I believe more cards to be a peer of North Shield. Simon, right, right mind of your service, your service to, to the society and, and the wishes, wishes of your peers, peers we are resolved to create you a master of the pelican. Know that to be a peer, peer is to hold a sacred trust, that the obligations will demand your efforts every moment of your life. A peer must seek excellence in all endeavors, not for their own good, but for the good of others. A peer must always seek justice, truth tempered with mercy. A peer must remain loyal to the people and the ideals he chooses to live by. A peer must always defend their kingdom, their family, and those who depend upon them. A peer must have the courage to sacrifice for the precepts and the people they value. A peer must have faith in their beliefs. A peer values the contributions of others and does not boast of their own accomplishments. A peer must be generous as far as their resources allow. A peer recognizes that true nobility arises from the journey, not the destination. Seek to emulate all of this as sincerely as possible, not for personal gain, but because it is right. Do not restrict your exploration to a small world, but seek to infuse every aspect of your life with these qualities. Should you succeed in even a tiny measure, then you will be well remembered for your quality and virtue. Knowing all this, do you desire to accept elevation into this order? I do. Will you pledge to continue to uphold the honor of this order? order? Will you, Will you increase your labors, labors and talents nobly as befits, befits one of your rank and seek to extend your talents and abilities throughout the society? Will you teach and assist any dependents you may have to serve as you well as you have served? Do you wish to swear field to your pledge service? I hear swear field. I hear swear field. To the crown of North Shield. To the crown of North Shield. To ever serve this crown. To ever serve this crown. To be faithful and true. To be faithful and true. To love all that they love. To love all that they love. And shun all that they shun. Shun all that they shun. To remember courtesy and kindness. To remember courtesy and kindness. To prize justice above personal gain. To prize justice above personal gain. To keep secret any counsel they entrust to me. Keep secret any counsel they entrust to me. Nor knowingly dispose it to their heart. Nor knowingly dispose it to their heart. To guide by my example. To guide by my example. To all who serve your kingdom. All who serve the kingdom. To diligently serve where needed. To diligently serve where needed. And to light the way for all your people. 
to light the way for all of your people. Here by my honor, my hand, and my heart swear on. Here by my honor, my heart, and my hand swear I, Simon Orgo. We accept your offer of service and leadership. We accept your offer of service and leadership. We'll rely on you to advise us wisely. And we'll rely on you to advise us wisely. As you serve and guide North Shield. As you serve and guide North Shield. With honor and charity. With honor and charity. We will act toward you. We will act toward you. Respectively in all things. Respectively in all things. Protecting you with our aid. Protecting you with our aid. And rewarding you with our love. May all strength fail. But may, may all strength fail, and the world turn against, and the world world turn against. Any, who any who break their solemn oath. <laughs> Is there a medallion? Yes, Your Majesty, there are two. Please. I'll start with the Kingdom medallion. And with that, Simon, I'd like to share with you the names of all of your predecessors in the peerage. We started well with Elishaba, Gebhard, Aya, Alexandre, Kevin, Tatiana, Katriona, Grimmond, Greta, Madeline, Astrid, Lancelot, Moreg, Marguerite, Isabella, Friedrich, Gabrielle, Mikey, <laughs> Tarek, Kenrick, Erwin, Cassandra, Darian, Ellis, Marwin, Katerin, Toki, Teffin, Edward, Tom, Abelard, Joyce, Beatty, Rothgar, Deja, Gunther, Petronella, Hamish, Iveta, Isabella, Mira, Sigrik, Saifa, and myself, Amalia. Take from our hands. Now take, take from, from our, our hands. hands. This, the symbol of your order. This, the symbol of your order. Which creature will nourish your young? Which creature, Which creature will, will nourish, nourish your young? young? When necessary. When, when necessary. necessary. With the blood from her own breast. With the, with the blood, blood from her, her own breast. breast. Wear it proudly. Wear, Wear it proudly. proudly. That all may recognize your service. That all may recognize your service. We have acknowledged it this day. Which we have acknowledged on this day. On this day. Is there a cloak? Yes, Your Majesty. That's good. I might make it cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>